Well, the FBI says it has arrested a suspect in the leaking of classified military documents. The suspect, a 21-year-old man, is a member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard. The U.S. intelligence community and lawmakers continue to assess the depth of the damage. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. The leaked Pentagon documents published on the chat app Discord with 150 million viewers exposes the extent of U.S. eavesdropping on allies and foes. A former undercover CIA operations officer tells me he fears the leaks jeopardize the safety of sources both here and abroad. If a source is discovered, they could be killed. And this information that leaked from the Pentagon, unfortunately, it would point out to sources and methods. It would also make our job very difficult and would have our sources doubting uh, our ability to protect them. Joseph Assad also tells me he believes Russia or China is behind the leak or may have paid insiders to put the information on the internet to drive a wedge between the U.S. and its allies, a belief shared by Senator Chris Murphy, who sits on the Foreign Relations Committee. Clearly, this is a growing problem, the ability of our adversaries uh, to be able to get confidential or classified information and leak it as a means of embarrassing uh, United States government leaders or candidates. It's something I think we're going to have to grapple with in a very serious way going forward. The Justice Department is investigating the extent of the leak, and the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Mike Turner, is pressing them to do more. The Department of Justice is not being forthcoming here. They're not being fully disclosing, but what they have disclosed right now it shows no imminent national security threat from any of the documents that have been released to Congress. One thing's for sure, this leak is a giant step backwards for U.S. relations. Assad said he's also concerned about the leaked documents which state Egypt plans to sell thousands of missiles to Russia. Egypt, uh, as we know, is the second largest recipient of U.S. foreign aid, something at the tune of $2.1 billion a year that Egypt receives from the United States. But in the same breath, Assad tells me U.S. government officials are still trying to determine whether or not some of the documents are fake. Both House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer have requested classified briefings for all members when Congress returns next week. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.